Let's get the yoga time. <coughs> First thing we'll do is we'll get into folded leaf position. And let's think about or swallows here in super yoga. So I'm gonna bring the hands together this way. A common fall again is that midline, left and right, right? That's why we trained earlier that bird. You could also do that exercise with with this position here where the your feet are in folded leaf. It'll be uh, I think a little easier to balance the flyer's weight. So that's another good exercise to get started, swiveling back and forth this way. Now again, the fall, if they fall out to the side, fly those feet down first, right? So you've got to, as the base, keep your arms straight and fight the instinct to hold on to the hand. So open support and lift, keep the arms straight so that the torso rises and the feet bend at the feet so you lower that distance so the flyer's feet can land on the ground first, okay? So now let's break it down. We'll get into folded leaf here. What I do from here is I will bring my flyer's hands to my hands. I'm going to meet my forearms against her forearms like that. And this just feels really solid for her. Then from there I'll grab the flyer's um, wrists and pull this way while my feet go back that way. This is called super yogi here. Counterbalancing. Another way to do that is if the flyer laces their hands together and then the base can do an, a palm to palm grip this way. And then the other hand can go right on top. And then I'm pulling this way again while my, my uh, feet go that way. And this will train your abdominal muscles to keep everything together too. So I think therapeutics are a great way to get a great stretch, but also really good for the bases to warm up with. So that's called super yoga. Have you guys seen that before? Um, I think that, that version, I think I might have. Uh -huh. So another version of super yogi is called half moon. It just looks like a half moon. You'll grab the flyer's wrist, bring it onto one hand, find that support first. And then when you feel like that's balanced, you can slowly bring them to one side that way. That opens out their side here. And you can also take this hand of support here and push it to that side. And this will train your abductors on that side to keep her from falling over there. And we'll do the same with switch hands. And do on the other side. And then from there we can simply just grab the flyer's elbows, fold them back up this way. Uh, and instead of doing Betty Boop, she can just drop her head. And by folding her elbows up, we're doing a different stretch. This stretches her tricep. And uh, I believe this is called lifted namaskar, like that. And then she can also dive in her legs together with the knees out and the bottoms of feet together like a diamond and that's easier on the hips usually. So I'm just on my arms are stacked. And I think this is similar to uh, Betty Boop where you have that little V going where the legs are that way and the arms are back this way a little. So because they're like that, keep in mind that she could fall this way. So be really mindful to keep the center of gravity back a little. And then you can do the same over here. Once you feel some nice stability, bring her to one side, one hand, and then just gently bring it over on one side, and then the other. And remember, again, when coming down, you want to stack your arms and then lower your legs. So that way her feet come down first. Alright, are you coming up? Okay. Okay.